Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. This is You Fix It Garage. My name's Rusty, and it's always my goal to help you save money by doing things yourself. Today, I've got uh, my brand new OMB grinder. I just got this a few weeks ago, and I mounted it on a cart. I've got a video uh, of how I mounted this thing so that I can roll it around everywhere. But in today's video, I wanna go over an accessory that I built for this grinder that I think will help you when it comes to sharpening your knives if you have a two by 72 grinder that you're able to run in reverse. So here we go. Before I get into this build, I wanna talk about uh, the design concept and why I made it the way I did. So if you're like me, you have a lot of different uh, knife grinding or sharpening systems. And uh, if you're making a lot of knives or you sharpen a lot of things, you want something that is fast and efficient and still will get the knife really, really sharp. So I've tried a lot of different systems and the one that I've settled on um, that I use exclusively now is this Kent Onion Edition uh, knife sharpener from WorkSharp. And the reason I settled on it is that it's, it's fast and it will get a knife really, really, really sharp in uh, uh, less time than any other system that I've tried. So the reason I haven't used my 2x72 in the past is that I've always had a 2x72 that only ran in one direction. Um, and if you're sharpening knives on a belt grinder, you want the belt to be retreating away from you at the point where the knife blade is contacting the belt because if it's coming towards you, like my, my old grinder, the knife is either gonna cut the belt in half once it gets to a certain level of sharpness or worse yet, uh, the, the belt is gonna grab the knife and fling the knife back towards you, which could be a deadly situation. So you always want a grinder that is retreating away from you. So when I got this new OMB grinder, I bought the variable speed control and the very first thing I did was install a reverse switch on it. Once I had that, I wanted to recreate this concept on my 2x72. So let's talk about how this, uh, this grinder works, this sharpener works. So like I said, I love this sharpener. This is actually a generation older. Um, they have a new uh, Ken Onion Edition that has a digital speed control and these wheels right here are uh, movable so that you can change the degree to which you have kind of that apple seed edge on your blade because of the amount of flex in the belt right here. So these, these move. Um, I, if you don't have a two by 72, I, man, I highly recommend uh, WorkSharp's Ken Onion Edition for sharpening quickly. Um, so the way it works, this indexing plate right here is zero degrees and the angle of your bevel is set by these two wheels right here. So by moving this rear wheel up or down, you're changing the angle relative to this zero degree indexing plate, and it will go between 10 and 35 degrees. So this is just 20 degrees it's set at right now. Uh, this is a Bowie knife that I just finished uh, a few weeks ago, and I actually sharpened on this sharpener. So what you do, you take your knife, you index it here at zero degrees, and as long as from here to here, I can maintain that zero degrees, all I have to do is drag my knife across as the belt is running till I get to about the midways of the belt with the tip, and then I come off. And then I flip it over, I index here, and again, holding it zero degrees with the knife blade, I come across and I stop about midways of that tip and come off. Um, with using different uh, belt grits, you can get a mirror edge on that knife in less than five minutes and have it hair splitting sharp. I like this better than I do the ones that have the clamp that clamps on the blade and a little rod that sticks out because the angle is set by the rod and not by the belt. So the rod is set to 20 degrees, but as I move across and I get farther away, it actually changes the angle out towards the tip of my knife just because the angle is being set with this rod and not with the belt. And depending on where I'm holding this on the belt, um, again, the angle is kind of variable. So I like this system better. It allows me a little bit of freehand control, but it also keeps a very consistent angle edge on there. So like I said, I sharpened this knife with this grinder and uh, it is just hair splitting sharp. Well, there it tore, but See if I can get to an empty spot here, All right? Um, you can get a really good edge. So this is what I wanted to achieve on my two by 72. I wanted something that I could adjust between uh, 10 and 30 degrees 
with two wheels on it so that my, my angle is set with the belt and then I have an indexing spot. So let's get into the build and I'm gonna show you how I went about it and then the final product. This was a relatively inexpensive build. Uh, the most expensive thing that I bought was a new contact wheel and I'll show you that here in a second. But I started out, I bought an angle gauge. Uh, I just bought this one off of Amazon. It's made by Klein. There's a bunch of them on Amazon. This is not the cheapest or the most expensive. Uh, it had good reviews and it's kind of middle of the road. So that's why I went with it. I bought a piece of, this is six inch wide by 12 inch long by quarter inch thick aluminum so that I could make my final piece out of it. And then the last thing I bought was a uh, little quick adjust handle. And this one happens to be uh, eight millimeter by 1.25. Um, just because I already had a drill and a tap for that size, but you could certainly go with uh, maybe quarter by 20. Um, you know, whatever you've got a drill and a tap for, for this. Um, and I'll put uh, links to that stuff if you're interested in it. And then finally, if we come over here to the grinder, I bought this contact wheel right here, and I ordered this from OMB. Uh, separately, I should have bought it with my grinder, honestly, but... Uh, I went with a rubber contact wheel up here so that I can do a little bit of grinding on here um, uh, on this wheel also. And then I moved the other contact wheel up here and I'm going to show you that here in a minute. So my concept was that I wanted to be able to set a 90 degree angle between my plate here and my platen because that's normally uh, what most people are using when they're grinding on their platen is a 90 degree angle between here and here. And then I wanted to add this extra wheel up here that um, very quickly I could go from grinding to sharpening without having to add a whole nother arm or make a bunch of other attachments. And so the way I accomplished that was by attaching this second wheel with a piece of aluminum up here at the top. So the first piece that I made, uh, this is it right here. And uh, I put it on, put my wheel on, kind of got some angles adjusted in there. But what I ran into was that when this piece was on here, as I came up with my belt, the aluminum was in the way. So if I had a large knife that I was trying to, to sharpen that had a big guard or something on it, it was gonna hit this piece of aluminum right here. So that was not gonna work. That was my first prototype. And that's one of the reasons I had to order some more aluminum because this one didn't work out. So I went back to the drawing board and uh, I actually designed in my uh, program, I've got a fiber laser over there and I've got an X-Tool laser over there. And so I decided rather than waste any more aluminum, I would uh, start doing some prototyping. So I designed in my Lightburn software, the next one, and then I used some scrap. Uh, this is actually the uh, pieces of the crate that my, my uh, fiber laser came in and I started prototyping. So I came up with a total of five different iterations, and I think the sixth iteration is what I settled on when I finally uh, figured out the exact design. So I went through so many different designs because uh, when you push the, the uh, air piston down here, this, this hydraulic piston down, you need clearance between the end and the uh, wheel. And so I went through a couple different iterations there. And then I also went through several different iterations of how low I wanted the notch to be in the, uh, the uh, aluminum to give me enough clearance, but also leave enough meat there for, the, uh, for strength. So once I dialed it in, finally my sixth iteration, I took that same uh, design out of my light burn. I transferred it over to my fiber laser and I outlined it on the aluminum through my fiber laser. Once that was done, I took it over to the drill press, drilled my holes, and then cut out the aluminum and shaped it with my 2x72. Once I had the shape I wanted, I took it over uh, to the OMB grinder and bolted it on. I already had a bolt hole drilled. I had to drill a hole through the uh, platen arm and thread it, and I already had that hole there. I didn't want to drill another hole, so I attached my bracket uh, screwed it down tight and then from the opposite side I uh, drilled a couple little dimples in there to give me an indexing 
I took those back over to the drill press, uh, actually to uh, my mini mill, and I drilled those out. And then using the mill, I put a half inch bolt uh, as a pivot point and used the mill to mill that slot out so that it would, uh, so it would rotate where I wanted it. And once that was done, I dressed it up a little bit more on the fiber laser. All right, so here's what I finally settled on. Once I prototyped everything, I got this one cut out and this one I'm really happy with. So let me just give you some dimensions. Again, this is an OMB grinder. I think this will work on any uh, 2x72 or most. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff out there, but most that have this style of a platen system, this should work uh, fairly well or could be adapted somehow to work with most grinders that will run in reverse. If your grinder won't run in reverse, do not do this. It is extremely dangerous to try and sharpen a knife with the belt coming at you. So uh, this thing is five inches long from here to here. Um, that's easy enough. And then between these two half inch holes that are drilled in it is three and three quarter inches between those two holes. And then the total height right here is two and three quarter inches, I believe. Um, yeah, two and three quarter inches. So those are really the only measurements that you need to know about. Um, you can drill those holes, make it that length, and then it's just a matter of radius, radiusing these corners right here so they don't make contact with anything coming down right there. This is more just for looks. And then the depth of this, I believe, is one inch. Um, so from the top of here to the bottom of there is one inch. And then again, I just radiused it out. So you can do all that on your grinder. Pretty easy. Other than that, it's uh, a matter of cutting this slot right here, which you saw how I did it on my mini mill. But you could also do the same thing on a drill press. And then you have to drill a hole through your platen arm, uh, your platen support right here, and tap it. Um, all really pretty easy. Uh, I think most people can do that. So let me show you how this thing works and what I finally came up with, how I'm going to set it and use it. So if I'm grinding at 90 degrees right here, which I think most people do, this is completely down and out of the way. This wheel doesn't even contact the, uh, the grinding belt. But when I get ready to sharpen, it's a pretty quick uh, changeover. So I take the belt off and then I need to set my angle right here. So I came up with uh, this box. I, I did it on my, uh, on my X tool. Uh, I laser cut this box and this box is square across the top and across the bottom. So when I stick it down here, it gives me uh, the same angle as down here. Um, and then of course, I put a little uh, caution on there and a little custom logoing, but I can take this thing, stick it right here. And I probably made it a little too long um, are a little too tall. I'll probably make it a little shorter uh, later on, but uh, I can index my knife off of here and grind right there. So I take my angle gauge and I've just got a blue piece of aluminum right here. This is a uh, mild steel aluminum. It's just a scrap piece of metal. This has a, a magnetic base on it. I can set it right there and then I can zero it out. So this is zero degrees. Now let's say I want to cut, I want to grind a 20 degree bevel into my knife. I can set it up here, loosen my handle a little bit, and I can come up to approximately 20 degrees. It's very hard to get it exact, but let's just say right there, 20 degrees. Okay, so from here, we're back pretty close to zero. This is a super sensitive gauge. And we're at 20 degrees right there. All right, simple enough. Now, all I've got to do is put a belt on the grinder. Ensure that my grinder is running in reverse. Track my belt and I can index off the top of this box and I can come right up here and come right across the belt at 20 degrees. Stopping about with the tip in the middle of the belt 
and then again right here and I can come across the belt at 20 degrees and stop with a tip in the middle of the belt. By changing the grid on the belts, I can get a mirror polish on my knife and I'm accomplishing almost the exact same thing as that I was on that Ken Onion Edition. Hey, so there you go guys. This is my 2x72 adaptation of the Ken Onion Edition knife sharpener. Um, maybe OMB or one of the other manufacturers out there will pick this up and start making it commercially available um, if they think it uh, works well enough. Uh, just remember, you saw it here first, right? Um, but if you own a 2x72 grinder, you're probably making knives. And if you can make knives, you can make this fixture. There's just not a lot to it. I think you've seen that uh, uh, in this video. As far as the box goes, you can make it out of wood. You could 3D print one. Um, there's all kinds of different variables, just as long as it's flat across the top so you can set this zero degree angle. This one is seven inches tall. I would actually make it four and a half or five inches tall, and I'm gonna make a new one uh, that height to get it down out of the way. But other than that, this is just a super simple design. If this has helped you out today, if this is something you're gonna build for your grinder, or maybe you think it'll help you step up your game for sharpening knives, please hit that like and subscribe button. I've got some more videos coming out on knife making. I've got a uh, press, a power hammer, a forge that I built. All of those videos are in the making and I'm gonna put them out there as well as the cart that I've got this uh, new grinder mounted on so that I can roll it around the shop and uh, get it out of the way. If uh, you're like me, you're probably working in confined spaces and you need your tools to be portable. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have fun making knives out there.